What's up guys and welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be doing an 8 inch bob. As you guys can see, it's super gorgeous, super sleek, it's giving Dora, it's giving body and movement and I just feel like this one is going to be perfect for the holidays. So jumping right into it, I was going from red to black bob and I'm feeling it. Well, African did sent me this wig for me to review for you guys, and you'll see from start to finish how I slay her. Sorry about the chewing. This is what she looks like straight out of the packaging. This is a center part 8 inch bob in the texture straight, as I mentioned before, and of course I have her linked in the description box. This is the inside construction of the cap. It's important to know what type of wig you are purchasing because you kind of want to know, you know, what you got to do. If it's a closure wig with no, you know, frontal 13 by 6 situation, it's a lot easier to install and have glueless. But if you have ear to ear lace, typically you'll have to bond something down just because you know that's the way it goes so this is what the wig looks like on I'm absolutely pleased with the cut and the fit the wig itself fits me really well and you'll see when I cut off the lace how it lays super flat and flawless and flush along my hairline and then again I was going for door bob but make it sleek make it posh you know what I mean so we're going to push or pull the hair back with some clips and jump right into the install. Again, there's not um, a lot of lace along the like sides. There is lace, but there's not a lot. So honestly, I didn't feel the need to customize. Of course, it's always a good idea to customize and thin out the lace so that it looks a lot more natural. But I'm going for real sleek center part and you really won't see the sides for what I'm going for. So I decided not to bother with the sides. But of course, if you're going to expose them or if you just want a flawless look go ahead and customize yours now that we've cut off the lace which was super simple to do we're gonna go ahead and bond the wig down now I went back to an OG fave which is the got to be glued spray this literally is an OG and always is gonna be a good staple in my book um, I used a nice thick coat because you don't want to put a thin layer because it kind of won't like how do I say it? You want us to kind of penetrate all the way through on the lace, not just a little bit, like a lot and get it really wet on the lace. That way it's going to do a better job at bonding down. Like if you put a little bit, it's probably going to lift a little bit easier, if that makes any sense. And once it's bonded down, you see how flawless and seamless the lace is. If I had added a lace tint underneath, this would be so bomb. And that's why a lot of times I say it's really good to customize and pluck out your hairline. But also, a lot of times, once you bond it down, you'll see the hidden gem that, you know, there's not a lot that needs to be done. Now, if you want an Instagram type of, you know, customization and you want it really not bald, but, you know, thinned out, that's a whole different story. But if you're going for like Beyonce sleep where it's kind of full still this is already done enough to you know pretty much finesse and get you through especially if you are nervous to customize it yourself as I just showed you again this one lays super flat and flawless along the hairline so if I wanted to finesse and wear it glueless I could add an elastic band around the entire thing by sewing it down and it would have laid flat for me without having to bond it down just adding a little bit of holding spray just does help to keep it you know on point so now that we've cut off the lace and we've bonded her down we pretty much are installed and ready to go all the hard parts are done now the hard part from here for me is going to be to try and do this without adding any baby hair you guys know I love baby hair I just showed you what the hairline looks like if I would want to kind of cut a little bit of that and kind of swoop it a little bit but again I want it sleek and posh as I've said a million times in this video and I tried my best to stick to it and I think I executed it well what I find with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> what I find with a lot of lace wigs is that whenever you, um, they send it to you and it's parted. Sometimes there's a little bit more ways you can part it back. And so for this one, I kind of think I feel like I added a little extra half an inch, quarter inch, and it made a difference. I feel like the longer the parting, the more natural and cute it looks, in my opinion. Short parting just gives real wiggy, in my opinion. So that's why I went ahead and used a rat tail comb to pull it out and see if I could add a little bit of more parting space and it worked out for me 
Now it's time to style the wig. I am using my Baby List flat iron. This is my favorite and of course it's linked down below. And you guys can just look, like put the video on mute and just look at how whenever I run the flat iron through it, how beautiful the hair is. The texture is on point and perfect for a nice, smooth, flawless, bob that has so much body to it like this is giving me life i can't remember the last time i had a bob that was this length this straight with this type of cut like this is giving grown woman 101 this is what you need to be slayed I did go back in after I went ahead and flattened it out. I did find that there were flyaways along the hairline, which is to be expected with lace. Um, so I did add the wax stick and then I went in with the electric hot comb. This was my second time going in with the electric hot comb because I do, you know, do the most behind the scenes. But the first time I went in, I kind of cut that out because it's kind of like you don't want to see me go through the, the same steps over and over and over again. Just know that, you know, I work at my hair until it's exactly how I want it if it means extra I'll do extra now I did find that after the wax stick and all of that it did still have a little bit of flyaways so I went in with a holding spray and then I kind of just pressed the side of the flat iron around and that helped you guys kind of can see how shiny and sleek it is up top because I did add that spray I should have let it um, pretty much spray throughout so that it looked a little bit more even but I'll be able to go in with a little bit more you know hairspray after the fact and make the ends look are pretty much match so it's not like that top is like sleek and shiny and the bottom is regular finally I went in with my powder and that pretty much was it okay guys so I'm completely done with this look and it was actually quick and easy I feel like my installs are getting quicker and easier and easier with more practice which I guess that makes sense practice makes perfect but this one came from wow african as i mentioned you guys know i work with this company a couple times and inside of the box they definitely give you the cute little pink dust bag that has their logo on it and this is a great way to store your wigs if you don't want to keep the big box and of course the wig itself was inside of a package like this and then they also gave some wig caps so this one here is an 8 inch bob and as you guys can see it's super simple and sleek. As much as I love baby hair I was like just please Ashley, please Ashley don't be ghetto. Don't be ghetto, don't be ghetto, don't be ghetto. Like don't be ghetto, don't add no baby hair. And it was so hard but I opted to not add baby hair. Like even as I was blow drying and installing the wig I was like oh it's gonna be so cute to add a little baby hair right here and I'm like no this is a sleek bob let it be what it's supposed to be don't do value don't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley like don't put the bumper sticker on the Bentley let the Bentley be great let the sleek bob be great now I just bought this cute little Burberry trench coat and I also bought some Bottega Veneta's I got a little bit of a vibe I'm trying to get like my trench coat bob all black like a turtleneck or like a turtleneck bodysuit or maybe even just a bodysuit underneath and my Bottegas or maybe some boots like maybe I can order the Givenchy shark boots I'm just getting vibes like this is grown woman got your ish together know what you want know what you need out of life don't need nobody to do nothing for you because you are a boss. That is the vibe I get from this one and I love it so much. As many bobs as I've done on this channel, I feel like I don't do just sleek 8 inch door bob perfectly cut to kind of like frame the jawline. I never do anything like this or if I do it's just not that often or I make it a little bit ghetto and add the baby hair like the baby hair has to be there so with this one I did get a little bit of flyers what a flyways right here I don't know if you guys can see in the camera but I still have a little bit there I don't want to weigh the wig down too much because I've already added a little bit of product and like all I want to do is just take it um, take my wax stick and I can see in the mirror like there's some hairs right here that's gonna like 
but there's so much body and movement to this that what you don't want to do with a bob is you don't want a stiff bob so I'm not gonna add any products what I'm gonna do after this video is I'm gonna just go ahead and lay it down with a good old fashioned scarf and that'll do the trick because again you want movement in your bob nobody needs nobody wants a stiff bob because then it's ghetto it's just ghetto so outside of that, the little flyaways, there was really no complaints about this one. Again, the cut is perfect. The hair is perfect. There was so much body and movement to this wig straight out of the packaging. I was very pleased with it. Again, you guys know me. I got to add a little bit of wax stick. I got to add a little product to make it do what it do and make it look sleek and really nice. And I did not forget my heat protectant this time around. I actually used... A new, new, but new, new, but old. Like, I've been using this for years and years and years, literally since I started YouTube, but I feel like I haven't used it in a while. So, I picked up another bottle of this because usually I've been using this one and there's just a little bit left. But as I tell you guys, I want to make it more fun on this channel when it comes to the hair tutorials. And every time I do a tutorial, it's something a little bit different. So I've been just trying to order tons and tons of products and see what the girls are using these days so that I can, you know, switch it up and give you a little bit of different variety when it comes to products and tell you what's good and what's not on the market. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this. I'm pretty sure you probably own it or have owned it at some point. Um, this is a good heat protectant. It's very affordable. You can find it in your local Target or Walmart but of course I have it linked in the description box as well as my wax my other stuff my hot tools and everything I used um, and then the last thing I used in this video was this here this is an OG oldie but goodie I don't know why I stopped using it I'm pretty sure I used it so much so much so much so much and I said what I'm saying now which is switch up the products and then I forgot about it somehow some way but it gave me life I've been using the Bobbi Brown powder for, I want to say, majority of this year. And I'm like, why have I been using that? Why did I get rid of this to use that? Like, what was I thinking? Because this here looks perfect. You always want to add a little bit of powder in the parting if the parting is not already flawless. And this is going to make it look super neat. Now, if this looks a little bit too, like, perfect for you guys, of course, just use a, a paper, like a rag or something like that and kind of blend it out. And of course, once the wig is old, you know, and all that, it's going to you know, soften up and all of that. I literally just put it on, so that's why it's so sharp. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check uh, the description box for a link to this wig as well as everything I use to complete this look. I'm Ashley B. Deck if you haven't noticed already. I am on the road to 300,000 subscribers. So again, please subscribe. It'll help me out so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!